welcome for the very first time someone I've known for quite some time because our children go to school together. And I don't know if that's the inspiration of me being on <laughs> the next episode of I'm Sorry on True TV Season 2 going on. Loved uh, this person's work way before I actually met her and Veep and Curb Your Enthusiasm and Step Brothers and so much more. Good to see you, Andrea Savage. Thank you for having me, Rich. So let's talk about my acting ability. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's definitely get into the most important part of the interview. No, it's not like we won't find out on <laughs> Sunday who's in the Super Bowl. We'll place that aside. Great. Because there's larger issues there's at work There's bigger issues at work My here. acting ability. Yeah, and I feel like we'll probably talk about it through now, through Sunday, because yes. there's a lot to get into. Yes. I will say, and I hate to admit it, you were very natural and good. Why do you hate to admit because it? Because I'd love to sit here and be like, it was awful. And <laughs> it took me hours in the edit room just to make it palatable, because mm -hmm. it almost was as if... English was not your first language. Yes. But you actually were nat you actually were very natural and it was really good. Well, it's funny because you you uh, came up to me a couple of months before yes. and you're like, look, there's a scene <laughs> where um, we're at a birthday party and Which by the way is based on a true story. So this actually happened. Yes. So this actually happened. It was in preschool and my daughter, uh, we were leaving a party and they gave out fish in a bag. And those fish do not live a long time. So the entire preschool class within 24 hours was dealing with every single kid's pet dying. And literally, just, we had to start explaining death to our four-year-olds because this... Careful, bag. careful, Whoa. careful. You're on, you're, on, you're on a live show, but I appreciate that. Sorry. It's okay. I, I usually ask if I can swear, and I forgot. It's all good. I tend to swear. It's all good. This terrible bag of fish um, <laughs> and literally the whole class shut down like no parents weren't sleeping their kids were up all night because yes. kids within 20 minutes are like this is my best friend this is my pet this is my fish and they all died so basically the loot bag was difficult parenting issues for you to have yes. to deal with so the whole preschool class shut down because of this gift bag of fish so we wrote it in, and I think it was actually my husband's idea. He was like, you know, you should have Give the Fish is rich. Because in the episode, the whole time, well, now I know I can't swear, but yes. we do say through the whole thing, blanking Rich Eisen, through the whole episode, we swear, and we're so just like this guy. <laughs> well, so we take you. him down That's the great. whole time, I and I was that. like, that would be hilarious. You know, it's so funny um, that, you know, when, <laughs> when you— I first received the script, which you wrote, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, well, I room write everything with everyone. I, right. Christopher Johnson has is the writing credit, but we the whole room writes, writes it. Writes it. Okay. Yeah. So the the script comes, yes. and of course, you know, um, I'll be honest. You flipped to see how many lines you I have. I didn't flip. It came as a PDF. So I hit the search, you know, the find. Yeah, find my name. Put my last name in there. Mm -hmm. And I saw I was in one scene. Mm -hmm. But then my name <laughs> kept coming up yeah. throughout the rest of the entire episode with an F-bomb in front of my name mm -hmm. each time. And I turned to my wife, who you know yeah. very well as yeah. well, and I'm like, how do I not do this? This is fantastic. Yeah. Where I'm cursed the entire You're episode. You're cursed the entire time. And I do um, coin the phrase, the Rich Eisen boner. <laughs> Because Tom Scott, who I know you've had a couple times here, and right. he he's very into fantasy football, right. couldn't be less interested on my side. Um, but he, uh, in the show, we have him really just like having pretty big crush on you, and I, I'm always like, your rich eyes and boners yeah. showing. And so I feel like that's going to take off, so get ready. Well, that could be fantasy football names throughout the entire universe. By the way, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying, Andrea, you know, you might be starting something here. I uh, would be thrilled. Andrea Savage here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, so... Um, Do you remember how hot it was? It was 120 degrees. It was I've the hottest day of the year. Life. I was directing. I direct this episode. And do you remember the cameras started melting? Yes, And we, we had, had to, to stop, stop had shooting. To stop. The cameras started melting. We had to put them in AC tubes to to cool them down, and the camera guy's shoes were melting off the sidewalk. It was awful. They melted. Jeez, it wow. was that the valley terrible. on the hottest day of the year. I've never been more hot, and we, you... You couldn't. You can't tell. Well, you were also handing out popsicles. It was. It was wonderful. It we was really. It was a great environment. Keep. And like I told you, everybody there was so nice and and so absolutely great. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.